hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding external api in odoo so currently i'm going to illustrate with odoo 15 community edition and same can be followed in odoo 15 enterprise edition and in odoo 14 and odoo 13 so the external api so from the name itself you can understand that it's something related with api so actually external api is a tool or a language by which we can communicate with oro from external application so as oro erp system there will be different need to communicate to the oro from external device maybe like a bank synchronization or from a payment gateway or from our third party application that we are using to manage or there will be different needs to communicate or to perform some operations inside Uru database so let's see how we can interact to Uru or to perform some action or to create a record in Uru or to update a record like to communicate with Uru system from other languages so Uru external api so here i have opened the Uru documentation where external api is defined and if i scroll down so i'll come to the top section later and here you can see we have got python ruby php and from java so if you are creating a mobile application using java and if you need to connect with Uru instance you can follow this tutorial that is external api.html and if you are creating some websites or web servers in php and if you need to perform or to communicate with Uru, you can follow this method so here what i'll do is that i'll be following python so outside Uru system i'll create a python file and i will run it using the ubuntu terminal and i will see how i perform authentication in odoo and how we will retrieve data from the odoo erp system so to start with what i have done is i have created a python file in my videos folder and if i open that file currently it's empty there is nothing inside this file so i'll be building the calls inside this file so first what we will be discussing is about how we can authenticate in Odoo so to get or to get some data from Odoo we can just provide the data publicly or there might be some need where we have to authenticate to get some data so let's see how we can perform the authentication in Odoo using Python language so if you go through this documentation what we have to do is that first of all we will create some variables inside the python code where we have to specify to which ip we have to interact with so in my system or in my, here we have the Uru installed locally in this machine itself so i can simply copy this url so in your case it will be public ip you can give that or the domain name itself so here it's my url https localhost 8015 and don't forget to remove this slash at the last side just remove that so we, this is the url that i need to communicate with then database name to which database you have to perform the operations with so my database name is devdb so in your case if you don't know your database name just activate the developer mode and you will be getting the database name over here after the locked in username you will be getting the database name so just to activate the debug mode you can go to settings and if you scroll down you will have the option to activate and deactivate the developer mode from here so once the debug mode is activated you will have the devil you will have the database name here so that's done now you have to enter username so i told for authentication we need username and password my username to the uru instance is admin and my password is me so what we have done is here is we have just created a four variables called url where i have specified my url database name day db username is admin and password is admin so here i have put the hard-coded things so if you are developing a mobile app you will have a login screen and then you can dynamically pass the entered username and password to these variables so that's done and if i go to the next step so we have created those variables similarly you can see in php you will be creating the variables as follows and in java you will be creating like this so we have done that and from Uru version 14 for authentication you have one more thing called 
other than username and password you have api keys so to get or generate api keys you can go to preference sorry my profile and under this account security you have the option to create api keys so let me delete this this time telling you can you have the option to create api keys here so we are not going with that method now we will be following username and password and that's here the doc is explaining about um, the api key so we don't need that then coming here you can see from here we will start we sh you should install xml rpc so odoo external api is also known as xml rpc or web service so if someone say to you use odoo xml rpc it's the same method it's called as external api or odoo xml rpc or odoo web service so three things are same just keep in mind that xml rpc odoo external api and odoo web service are same so i'll simply copy all these lines and I'll put it here and I don't need these two lines I just need to import only XML RPC dot client because here you can see they are setting URL and all we don't need those things I just need to import XML RPC dot client if you are in Ruby put require this one this one in PHP and in java you have to do this so we have imported xml rpc dot client and in the next step locking i'll copy these codes and let me put it here so xml rpc i'll move this import to the top of the file which is the standard of python coding import xml rpc client and from here xml rpc dot client server proxy we are calling this url this variable will be passed common dot version so let me print this common dot version so this is python print i'll put um, version info i'll do like this version info i'm just printing what the common here you can see we are calling a method called xml rpc to common and we are retrieving data to this variable that dot version control is so we have done so far and let's run the script and see what happens so here i'll open my terminal and python and i'll run this script and if you run you can see version info so from this common dot version we are receiving the server series is 15.0 and its final version and you can see you are getting some version info from common dot version so we don't need to use this i'm just showing you so i'll remove that line and if i come back to Odoo tutorials that is come back to external api or the documentation you will be getting a result as follows from common dot version now we have to perform the authentication here we have just entered username and password and we have to send it to Odoo, Odoo and we have to authenticate like it's entered is correct username and password so authentication is done using this method common dot authenticate and we will pass database name username and password so let's copy this code and let's put it here common dot authenticate common we have this variable here dot authenticate db it has to be db variable i'll put db here username it has to be username password so we have done that and let's see so if the authentication is succeeded we will be receiving user id in this variable print uid uid and let's see i have entered the username and password and calling authentication method now let's run this again and see and you can see uid is coming as two so what i'll do is that if uid i'll put here and authentication success i'll just print like this and in the else so if you are building application you can do like this authentication failed 
example is and let me run it again i'll clear the log and if i run the script again python external api.py and you can see authentication success and what i'll do right now i have entered correct username and password here so if i enter some wrong password control is i'll save the file and i'll trigger the script again and you can see authentication failed because the password is wrong so if i correct that the authentication will be getting succeeded so this is how we can authenticate into odoo from external application just use external rpc client call this code and we will be getting common variable then we will be using common dot authenticate to perform authentication in the database so i will cover only the locking section in this session and in the upcoming section we will see how we can read data from odoo and how we can write some data to odoo and update existing records in odoo so if you understood this video please do click the like button and support us by liking and sharing the video with your odoo friends so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you